let's go talk about Tyreek. Tyreek said he felt like the side chick. He went on RG3's podcast, and, he, and, and, and I, I don't know if he's joking, he was serious. He said, Pat and Kelsey, I was kind of jealous. I was hurt, bro. I was hurt. Patrick, you ain't never invited me over to your house like you did Kelsey. You always invited Kelsey. And that's why we're here where we're at now. I've never been to anybody's, I've never been anybody's side chick before. Never always in my whole life. High school, middle school, all the quarterbacks. I was their I was their main chick always. I go to KC and now I'm the side chick. <laughs> hey, that's funny. That's funny. Tyreek, obviously, Tyreek being very be, being very, very facetious. Uh you you take what he's saying with a grain of salt, a little humor, a little comedy to it. But I understand what he's saying. His security blanket, it it is Travis Kelsey. And it, <laughs> it always has been and always will be. But Tyreek, again, being as special as he is, he made that offense even more special than what it already mm -hmm. was. He sure. made it more special and dynamic than it already was. Obviously, you can see it's still struggling a little bit, you know, with the ups and downs that they're having yeah. now, not having a true number one receiver that can only not only take the top off of defense, but can run those intermediate routes, can run those shallow routes, and bounce his head off the goalpost from anywhere on the field. That's anywhere. That's somebody special. That's why anytime I talk about Tyreek, I always put him in a category completely by his guy to himself because we've never seen anything like that before. Um, right. Other than that, I mean, it's it, it's funny. I love his sense of humor too. He, he's he's yeah. one of the few players that is playing today that keeps the game entertaining and it forces you and makes you want to tune in to see what's next. Did you did you uh, Carson ever invite you over to his house? No, no, because they they know <laughs> I, I wouldn't go. They know I wasn't showing up. When, <laughs> when, when, when listen, when we leave that stadium. I'm doing two things. I'm going to Cigar Bar. I'm going to the Jazz Club, listening to some jazz sets, or I'm on my video game. I'm not doing nothing else. Don't invite me yeah. to your house because I'm not showing up. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, we used to go early in my career. We had a, had a teammate, uh, a, uh, a tight end teammate named Reggie Johnson. Yeah. And then <clears throat> his girl would cook, and she was an excellent cook. And we go over there, shoot pool, play cards. Yeah. That yeah. was the thing. You know, we playing tunk. You know, we playing Boo Ray. You know, what, you play... know, what you know about Tonk, man? man, man. <laughs> you, you, know about South, you know about Tonk. You know about all that. And so I went to a – but I, I was I was not a big – I was not a guy big into going to, to other people's house. Right, right. Uh, right. That that wasn't my thing. Uh, I, I kind of like – like I see you guys, I see you guys there at work. Mm -hmm. And so once I leave work – Right. I want to. I want to go do my own thing. I want to be to myself. Right. Um, you know, we go. I mean, occasionally we went out. I wasn't a big go out type of a guy either. But I get it. I mean, I get some guys. You know, they they hung out. They went to each other's house. But uh, that wasn't my thing, Ocho either. I, I wasn't big. I wasn't big into going to teammates' house either. Yeah, and you know, and the funny thing about once you get outside, now what I, what I did do, it, we didn't hang out at each other each other's houses, but the receivers, the receiver room, we did some things together. Sometimes we'd go to dinner. You know, we'd go to yeah. dinner. For and, sure. and chop it up, uh, do some things of that nature. But you know, going going to someone's house is just nothing wrong well, with it. It just, no. just some night I, I just I didn't do. Well, I think they say, well, when Mike got there, what did what we did do is that uh uh he would have what they call casino night. Yeah. So once you you know you break and the guy that was gonna make the team, he'd have a casino night. So they have yeah. blackjack, they have craps table, they have all that, and so everybody he invited everybody over to come there with his mm -hmm. wives. They having you know they having all this food and everybody would right, show up right and that was really fun so because we got an opportunity to win some really nice prizes yeah. pearl necklaces and trips vacation things like uh, things of that nature Damn. so the, yeah the, oh all yeah that? yeah Mike oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah I mean the, the thing Mike was big Mike was big on team bonding so right. we go to train camp we'd have a day we go bowling yeah. we have a day so it'd be offense against the defense so you get your your ten best op, uh, uh, offensive players mm -hmm. the ten best defensive players. And we bowl against each other. Yeah. Okay. Then we'd have a fishing a fishing derby. You know, whoever catch the first fish, whoever catch the most fish, whoever right. catch the biggest fish. Oh yeah, Mike. Mike was big into that. He would give us. He would give us like, okay, guys, had a great week of practice. We have a good day, couple of days of practice. I'm gonna give you the night off. Don't get yeah. hey, don't get in any trouble. Right. Hey, so we go. You know, hey, guys, go to the movies. Guys, uh, back in Greeley, this place called the Smiling Moose. Guys yeah. would go up there, blow off a couple little steam, have a couple of drinks. But it was yeah. great. Mike was big. Mike was big in the team building. Right. Team, get the pay. Hey, get the guy. Know, get, know the guy other besides that right. he played D-line and that his yeah. number is 95. Know something mm -hmm. about the guy. Know somebody. He got kids. He got he got mom. Family. I mean, where, right, where, right. Where, yeah, know something about him. So I, I, that's one aspect of it um, that, that I really that I really appreciated about, about Mike.
I like that casino night idea. They're just the, the only <laughs> part. I wish I wish I could have been a part of something like that, something to that magnitude. Because I think if if there was ever been a time where I would gamble, or actually spend a little money for a change, it would have to. Oh be no, he, they gave you extra. He give you money. So like he give you like what? fake money. Yeah. So like he would come, like you would come, and he give you say like I think like thirty five hundred dollars. Oh, real so, real money? No, no, no. It was it was, but you know it, the money was fake. But you okay. get an opportunity. Whoever have the most money at the end of the night get to buy prizes. Ah, with the fake yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So, okay, okay, so okay, you okay, get an opportunity okay. to buy the pearl okay. necklace or the right. diamond necklace or right. the trip somewhere. So right. that's that's how we did that. It so is what, live. So what you know we do? You know your boy had to hook that thing up. You know your boy good with the dice. Your boy right, good right. at blackjack. So yeah. a couple of guys say, "Hey, Sharp, this is what we gonna do. Mm -hmm. We gonna give you our money." Go ahead and make that thing work for you. You know, I'm looking yeah. to flip. You know, I'm going <laughs> to hit a lick now. You know, your boy. Right, right, right. You know, you know, rolling them dice. You know, now in my point, born yeah. in 54, died in 63. What's my <laughs> point, Ocho? Now give me that. <laughs> oh, Tension. man. Oh, oh, but, oh, we had, oh, we had that thing. That thing was lit. That's but uh, that's those, 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 that's, 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 you know what, Ocho, and I tell people, that's what you miss. Yeah. I, look, the game, the game is the game and the yeah. money. I miss things like that. The, the bus ride, right. the, mm -hmm. the, the, the casino night, the fishing derbies, the bowling. Yeah. Those are the things that you, because you're never going to be able to do that again. Nah. You're never going to be able to do nah. that again. And you can't, you can't simulate it either. And you, you can't, can't replicate it. No matter how, nah, you, nah, how nah, much nah, you try, nah, you nah, can't. Nah. Because you know, hey, guys are competitive. Mm -hmm. You know, you might start off bull jiving, but now you go up there to bowl, the guy's in your ear, the guy yeah. doing the worm, he yeah. moonwalking, you know what I'm saying, Ocho? Oh, yeah. yeah he doing all kinds of oh, stuff yeah. to try to throw you off your game. They yelling, come on, bro, bro, you can't be yelling in the bowling. Mm. They yelling and screaming, they yep. throwing stuff up in there, throw the towel, <laughs> they eat, eat mop corn. Yeah. 